Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and today I'm going to be simulating on NBA 2K15 the NBA Finals between the Cavaliers and the Warriors. Uh, I actually got this first attempt, uh, almost lost it uh, with the Grizz and the Warriors here. Um, is there a way I can look at it? Um, hold on. View next box score. Okay, here we go. See, okay, see the Gri the Grizz won game one. Warriors blew them out in game two. Then the Grizz won game three and four. So they were up 3-1, and then the Warriors came back and won the next three. Uh, somehow the Heat were the three seed in the East. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, but if you look at over here, other than the Thunder being in instead of the Pelicans, it was the same in the, in the West. And in the East, it wasn't the same really at all because the Pacers and the Hornets and the Heat were in, so... The Wizards didn't get in. But um, I did a couple of things that maybe other ones of these that you haven't seen. Um, I went into here and I set the rotation minutes roughly the same as what they've been in the playoffs for these teams. I added a few minutes to some other bench players that I assume should get a few minutes in the finals. Um, but Curry, uh, 38 minutes. Uh, Draymond Green was averaging 38. Klay Thompson's at 35. Uh, Harrison Barnes at 32. Bogut at 24. Iguodala, uh, the most off the bench with 26, uh, and then uh, if you play, if you start this and you just sim it straight off, like some people did, David Lee has like 26 minutes or something like that. Uh, so you gotta keep an eye out on that. And then also for the Cavaliers, I went in here and uh, I put uh, Barajal and Kevin Love to zero, and I put them on the reserve since they're injured uh, because they have decent minutes. And also Del Vadova has zero minutes if you uh, just auto-simulate. Uh, but Kyrie with 36, Shumpert with 34, uh, LeBron with 41, Tristan Thompson with 34, uh, Mazga with 26, JR with 31, Del Vadova with 22, uh, James Jones with 12. I had to give, like, because they don't have any other, like, centers and power forwards, I gave Kendron Perkins just a few minutes because... I don't know, because LeBron, hopefully the game is smart enough to put LeBron at the four sometimes, hopefully, um, but uh, we'll have to see about that. Also, I went in here and I set the scoring options, uh, LeBron, Kyrie, and then JR, uh, set the offense, pick and roll, uh, crash the offensive glass, uh, some crash others run, just different stuff like that, stuff that tried to help, and then with the Warriors, I did the same thing. Uh, I set first scoring option to Curry, then Thompson, then Draymond Green. Uh, get shooters open, shoot at will, uh, run in transition, just stuff like that. So let's hop into this. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the uh, sim, the simcast thing, and we'll just see how it goes. So we're going to start out here with game one, uh, the Warriors and Cavaliers, even though this isn't how it goes. I think the, war the Warriors are, are at home first, but I can't really, I can't really get that. That's not something I have control of. <laughs> so let's get into this. I'll simulate game one. We'll see how this goes. So Cavaliers up five early. Warriors make a run. Up three now. And at the end of the first, they're up seven. Into the second, the Cavs evened it up before the Warriors took another three. Took three off of them in the second, 33-30. And now they're, they're, okay, they were way ahead in the third. And then the Cavs came back. And then in the fourth, it looks like the Warriors are going to win game one. Warriors win game one, 110-89. to We'll take a look at the box score. Um, Draymond Green led with, wow, Draymond Green shot 14 threes. Four, what? What? Okay, what did, Curry only scored 11. Where, how many did Clay Thompson score? Clay Thompson scored 16, he had a double-double. Uh, with the Cavs, Kyrie scored 26, LeBron scored 22. So that's kind of close to being right on there. Uh, but the the Warriors, like, that's such balanced scoring. That's ridiculous. Um, all right, so let's hop into game two now. Warriors up 1-0 so far into game two. So let's simulate this game. Pretty even game to start here. We'll see who pulls ahead at the end of the first. Looks like the Cavs. The Cavs are up seven after one. And it's about the same in the second, pretty even. Cavs take one point in the second quarter. Uh, Warriors looking to try to claw back here in the third, but they lose three again in the third, so they'll have to have a big fourth quarter. It does not look like they're going to get it. Uh, the Cavs win 109-91 to tie at 1-1. Uh, Clay Thompson scored 28. Curry with only 15. 
Uh, in this, also, Curry did win MVP, uh, so I don't really know why he's not scoring. Uh, Draymond Green had 15. Um, let's see here on the Cavs. LeBron had 28. Kyrie had 28. Uh, JR had 20. So this one was a little bit more accurate, except that Curry still is not scoring. Uh, so we'll hop into Game 3 here to see how this goes. Warriors... Wow, Warriors off to a hot start. Oh, Cavs coming back, though. Warriors dropped 34 in the first and are up 8. Uh, and they're pouring it on in the second. Now, the Cavs came back, but they put 4 more on for Warriors. Cavs taking over the third quarter and bringing it back to a tie. Uh, they outscored the Warriors by 10. And now in the fourth quarter, the Cavaliers look like they're going to win. The Cavs win by 1 and go up 2-1 in the series. That was actually a really good game. <laughs> Uh, and so Curry finally had a game and scored 26 points, had double double, went three of five from three. Might have to set, the, I might have to take that scoring option off for Draymond Green because he's shooting way too many threes. Like that's just not accurate. J.R. Smith 20. The Cavs looks really good. Like it's actually going how, uh, like they, they score and how everything. It's just the Warriors just kind of messed up. So hold on, we're gonna, I'm gonna take Draymond Green off as the third scoring option. Just do no preference. See if this, see if it balances out a little bit better here. Curry and Thompson get some more points. All right, into game four. Uh, Cavs up 2-1. Warriors taking a lead out of the first, a 10-point lead. Cavs putting some points on the board, but after a Warriors run, they catch back up, and the Warriors are going to take some points, take seven off in the second, dropping 70 points in the first half for the Warriors. And this game is over by the time we got to the fourth quarter. So I think this might have gone better. I don't know. Uh, maybe Curry. Wow. The Warriors dropped 129. There we go. Curry scoring third. Curry with a triple double, scoring 33 points. That's more. That's more likely. Curry scoring 33 than Curry scoring 15. Uh, and Clay Thompson scores 23. Harrison Barnes with 20. Uh, so this is this is going better. Tied 2-2 now uh, in the in the finals. All knotted up going into Game Five in Cleveland. Let's see how. Let's see who can take this game. Cavs up early. Warriors surge at the end of the quarter, go up seven. Uh, they're winning the second quarter, and they're going to take it by five points, putting them up 12 at halftime. And then the Cavs, though, answered back early in the third, but the Warriors caught right back up. It looks like the Warriors are going to take game number five, 118 to 111. Curry and Thompson both drop 33, uh, both take 10 threes. Uh, Harrison Barnes, one point away from a double-double. Let's look at the Cavs. Kyrie drops 33, almost close to a triple-double for Kyrie. Uh, LeBron with 24, 7, 4, 3, and 1, uh, but with five turnovers. Uh, LeBron shot pretty good from the three in that game. Uh, Shumpert shot 6 of 9 from three. Uh, how many rebounds? Did Tristan Thompson only had four rebounds. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Uh, and now the Warriors are up 3-2 after being down 2-1 to the Cavs. The Warriors are now up 3-2. And uh, one more game to go, potentially. Closeout game for the Warriors at home in Game 6. Can they do it? Can they close out the Cavs in 6 at home? They're going to take a lead out of the first quarter, up by 6. Uh, even second quarter, but they pull a little bit. Nope, the Cavs bring it back and tie it at 29. So the Warriors were up by 6. And the Cavs outscore the Warriors by 8 in the 3rd to take a 2-point lead into the 4th. It looks like the Cavs... No, the Warriors... The Warriors made a run at the end of that game. The Golden State Warriors of the 2015 uh, NBA champions. 2014-2015 season. Winning 116-115. to Let's see. Is there a way I can... No, I can't. Look at... Like... No, I can't. All right. Um... Curry scored 25 points, almost had a triple-double in the closeout game. Only shot four threes. Bogut with 19 points. Thompson with 16. Draymond Green with 14. Kyrie, 34 points and 16 assists. LeBron, 26 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 4 steals. JR, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. Let's see here. Shumpert. There's more Tristan Thompson numbers. 10 points, 9 rebounds. So that that was that kind of worked out. Who won MVP? Let's see, who won MVP? Do I have to? I have to advance. I think. Congratulations. Okay. Is it not going to show me who won MVP? It's got to save. Hmm. 
Wait. Taking me back to the main menu? Who won MVP? No! Such a good video until it effed up. Uncomplete. You can't continue the save. It didn't tell me who the MVP was. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It was probably Curry. I was, it was either Curry. It had to be Curry. because It was Curry or Thompson, which is all that matters because if the Warriors win, it's going to be one of those two. Uh, but that's the simulation of the NBA Finals. Warriors won 4-2. Uh, after being down 2-1 to the Cavs, it kind of turned around when I took the third scoring option from Draymond Green because he was shooting way too many threes. It, did, it wasn't even realistic. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. Hope Hope it gave you a little insight, I guess. It's not really how probably it will go, because I did this last year. I didn't post it to YouTube. But I did last year, and the Heat won in, like, five, which was way wrong. So who knows? If you're a Cavs fan, this is no foreshadowing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out, guys.